Hey everyone, welcome back to Ask Reddit, the subreddit where anyone can ask a question and the most interesting questions get upvoted to the top. Today's question, what did the popular kid at your school do to go from cool to an absolute outcast? He got a bad haircut, was teased for it, and threw a temper tantrum. He literally stormed out in the middle of class. He lost his spot as King Bully after that. Semi-popular, kind of preppy kid tried to kill his parents by pouring vodka around their bed at night and setting it on fire because they took his CDs away. Tried is the key word here. Liquor doesn't burn that well. A few months ago, a would-be terrorist tried to set himself on fire in France by dousing himself in white wine. It did not work. Edit. As pointed out by someone else, it was Rosé. My memory is getting spotty from all the wine. She was pretty and fairly popular and near the end of the school year told everyone she had cancer. We were approaching the end of grade 7 at the time. Eventually literally everyone knew. Teachers, other parents, other grades, etc. And it kind of united everyone who weren't typically friends and that was kind of cool. Until one day, maybe a week or two in, a pair of girlfriends go to visit her at her parents' house and they bring it up and discover it was a hoax. She pissed off a lot of people and lost all her friends after that. Gained new ones eventually, but what a goddamn weird thing to lie about. Same thing happened at my middle school. The girl would skip school and tell her friend she was absent because she was undergoing chemo. One of her friends brought it up to a teacher when the teacher mentioned something about her missing class so much and the teacher called her mom. I still remember her mom calling me and telling me she was calling everyone in the girl's address book to tell them her daughter did not have cancer. She lost some friends afterwards as well because a lot of people thought she was weird for lying about that. Accidentally left a video of himself sticking stuff up his ass on a phone that he sold to another student. I never saw him again after that. Joined a gang, moved up the ranks, ordered the firebombing of a rival gang member's house. Dude wasn't home, but his four little brothers and sisters were. None of them made it out of the house. He'll be in federal lockup until the day he dies. Known party girl at my school was texting while driving. She hit and killed someone crossing the street. Her father was a sergeant in the police department. She went to jail for six months and then had to do probation, community service. Not quite sure what happened after the fact, she deleted everything tied to her. This was two days after high school graduation. We just had something similar happen here. Girl is high and runs a stop sign, plowing into a family of four, killed the dad. Mommy is a sheriff. She was just sentenced today and got 15 weeks. He got with me. For real. He was the most popular and I was the most unpopular. He was still always popular but less so after that. Now we've been together for ten and a half years and married for a little over eight. There was a girl that was THE popular girl in school. She had all the friends and even put out an album. She was a total star locally. One day we were taking standardized tests and she runs out of the room and doesn't return. When we left the class, there was green diarrhea all over the floor just down the hall from the classroom. Poor girl didn't make it to the bathroom in time. She didn't return to school that school year and moved to another town and school completely after that. There was a guy that was pretty popular. He got really drunk at a party and totally didn't know where he was. He pulled down his pants, squatted, and totally started to poop. He moved away immediately. He was a senior and I was in 8th grade. That was well over 25 years ago. Well, he friended me on Facebook a couple months ago and I kind of recognized him. I racked my brain and it came to me. The guy who pooped at the party. Poor guy. Guy got accused of rape at a party and nobody believed the girl. And people spread vicious rumors about her and sided with him. The whole thing seemed like everyone viewed him as a victim and he played himself up that way. Until, a few months later, another girl said she had been raped by him at a party and multiple other people at the party saw her hysterically crying and bruised afterwards. There were not so many people supporting him after that. He got drunk and finger banged a sheep at an outdoor party. 
He spent the next three years as the sheep fucker. Edit. Everyone assumes he was Welsh or from New Zealand. This was upstate New York. Crack. He and his couple friends started smoking crack senior year of high school. They got quarantined to themselves. Ran into one of them a couple weeks ago. He kept trying to get me back to their apartment to do meth. She was hired to dog sit for a neighbor when they went out of town. She decided to take advantage of the empty house and throw a party at the neighbor's house that got out of hand. Neighbor's daughter also went to the school and had to deal with a messed up house. Pretty big deal, and the popular girl never came back. Wholesome for once, I guess. All popular kids in my school were complete dickheads that bullied others. This fella, King of the Hill, starts dating a girl from another school that was friends with one of the bullied kids. The kid told the girl what her boyfriend does in that school, so the girl threatened to break up with him if he didn't change his ways. He stopped socializing with the cool folks and started getting bullied by them, and none of the other kids wanted to warm up to him. He was a loner at school, but he made his girlfriend happy, and he was happy. That makes me happy. He stood for what mattered most to him, and it made him a better man. I remember in middle school, the popular kid asked out the most unpopular girl and then embarrassed her in front of everybody by breaking up with her and laughing in her face about how could she think it was real. It was really sad, and I remember her being really into high school TV shows, and I think she really wanted to be popular, like she hoped life would be like a Disney show or something. I don't know what happened to him, but I remember everyone kind of being like, dude, and he moved a bit later. In high school, the popular kids weren't necessarily bullies. They weren't super welcoming into their circle to invite everyone to parties and stuff, but they weren't total bullies, at least that I know of. They were just good at sports and attractive, pretty much. That happened in our school too, except the popular guy kept being popular. I hated him after that incident, and I felt so bad for the girl. Like, everyone felt bad for the girl, but I was one of maybe five people who then felt angry towards the guy. Everyone else just let it go as if he wasn't the reason we all felt bad for this girl. It's been nearly 20 years since that happened and that's still what I think about when I see him. I was a super, super awkward freshman who had just transferred from private Christian school to public high school. That was a shock. A guy who was definitely trying too hard to be popular asked me out as a joke on a dare. I glared at him and told him no but people were definitely laughing at me and talking about it the rest of the day. I felt like absolute crap. Two years later, both of us joined theater, and though we never became friends, we were at least friendly and just acted like it didn't happen. Freshmen are idiots. This happened to me, and the same kids were part of the yearbook organization, so they actually put the incident on my yearbook splash page. My bullies are still bullies. Only richer, more successful bullies that use it to flaunt over people lower than them. We were in our 30s for Christ's sakes. My classmates literally tried to pull a carry stunt on me. I recently left our alumni forum because these people never grew up. They had affected my life for so long, it took me a mortality check to remove them in my social media. I feel tons better about it, but sadly can't take back those years I was treated, alienated, and affected my self-esteem in an almost permanent degree. Killed an infant in a car accident, completely shut down during senior year, wouldn't talk to anybody anymore. Ugh, Jesus. That sounds like one of those situations which ends horribly for every single person involved. Ugh. Yeah, there wasn't really anybody at fault either, it was just a massive case of bad luck. People reached out to him for a while, but eventually I think people just couldn't keep stressing themselves over it. If there were social situations outside of school, I didn't know about them, but in school, he was pretty much a self-inflicted pariah. I had a cousin who died as a very small child because she walked out from behind two parked cars into the street out front of a church. A young man was driving to church and accidentally killed her. He never drove again, ruined his whole life. Poor guy. My college roommate knew a guy that did the exact same thing. Accidentally hit a small child that came out between parked cars. And I think he may have even served jail time because it was, I believe, on the main road of a very small PA town and he was going like 5 to 10 miles per hour over the speed limit? I can't really recall because it was like over 6 years ago. 
She also said it ruined him. So very sad for all parties. That's terrible. One incident can result in such a fuck up for the rest of one's life. He sounds like he's riddled with guilt and grief. The poor child, the child's family, and that guy. He was popular because he was a rebel that talked back to teachers and insulted them openly. He became an outcast because he made the teacher everyone loved cry. I had a guy in my class do this recently. Nobody really talks to him anymore. Rule one of school. Don't F with the cool teachers. Edit. And don't be a douche to the not so cool ones. I hate kids that do that to teachers. They're just trying to do their jobs, douchebag. Got hit by a train. Everyone cared about him until he got out of the hospital and wasn't the same mentally from head trauma. All the other popular kids mock him and have him blocked on social media to this day. That's messed up. Something similar happened in my high school. Kid got drunk and dove headfirst into a pool that was drained of water. Nearly died, came out of the hospital a totally different dude. He received mostly nothing but support and encouragement from the whole school, although some were apathetic due to the nature of the situation that led to the injury. Got an 8th grade girl pregnant while he was a junior in high school. He eventually transferred out because everyone hated him so much. For those not in America, that's at least a 4 year age gap. 17 year old knocking up a 13 year old. Most popular kid in my middle school was this big Samoan dude. Looked like he was 13 going on 25 years old. I remember he gained a lot of popularity when he serenaded this girl in class to ask her to the dance. He had music playing on his iPhone and he started belting out love songs while on bended knee. Later on that year, he went from hero to zero when we found out he'd been molesting his sister. Zero to 100 real effing quick. Jesus Christ, that ending. Oh, this guy sounds so sweet. What the f- Well, the popular girl at my school tried to ruin the life of a really sweet girl because of boyfriend drama. When she realized people were standing up for the sweet girl instead, she lost her mind. Accusing the other girl and her boyfriend of property damage, turning on anyone who didn't swear loyalty what to her, turning people against one another, screaming at teachers, it was a mess. The nail in the coffin was when she confided to me and two others that she was planning to put laxatives in the pastries she baked for the class. Obviously I let people know and she became completely ostracized. She left at the end of junior year and senior year was the most chill year ever. I don't blame you for letting people know. You can't let that shit slide. I got fed an entire bottle of X-Lax over the course of a day. I'm pretty sure I missed two days of school and lost three to five pounds. I didn't leave the toilet for days. It was easily the worst week of my life. Oh yeah, and to top it all off, it completely effed with how my body functions, so now when I have to shit, I gotta go right then or I'm gonna shit myself. TLDR, don't F with laxatives. Edit, my, upvo my most upvoted comment and it's about the shittiest day of my life. Cool twin brothers from my high school drove home intoxicated from a football game, crossed a double yellow, and smashed head-on into a car coming in the opposite direction, killing the other two occupants almost instantly. The brother not driving was severely injured and is currently still slightly mentally disabled. The brother driving came away with relatively minor injuries. Somehow he got away with no charges filed, probably on account of his lawyer father. He was also on one of our more successful teams, so when he returned to school a couple of weeks later, they announced it during a school assembly, basically celebrating his return and congratulating him on a speedy recovery. Some of his friends started applauding, but pretty much everyone else ostracized him from that point on, given the fact that he killed two people. And yes, he still is, and was, a piece of shit. I don't get why, in accident stories like this, the drunk driver almost always survives, and it's always random people who get killed. It's so effing unfair. I've heard it's because most drunk drivers are more mellowed out, like a sleeping passenger, and since their body doesn't react or tense up as much, they absorb more impact. 
Not sure how true that is, though. That's a part of it, but the driver's seat is usually the safest seat in the car. You also instinctively steer away protecting yourself first. This is why it's recommended that if you have one child in the vehicle, they should sit directly behind your seat. If you have two or more children, you put the one you like the most behind you. Last one to speak gets to sit behind mommy in the car. There was a popular cheerleader at my school that was in a bad car wreck and she suffered severe brain damage. The day she came back, some of her friends, aka the popular kids, sat with her at lunch. Every day after that though, they sat on the other side of the cafeteria in their normal spot and she was with the other special needs students. They would walk past her without saying a word. As far as everyone knew, her entire group of friends completely abandoned her. I don't think she missed them though, so silver lining, she seemed to be very happy most of the time after the accident. Not so much before. This was in the mid to late 80s, and every teen movie with a bunch of shitty preppies pretty much accurately depicts the popular kids in my high school. Exact same happened in my class. She had a shitty boyfriend who she wanted to break up with because he was mean to her, but he died in the accident, so all she remembered was how great he was because of her mental issues after the accident. Edit, it's been 35 years. After telling my kids about this, I remember that though she had some small memory or coordination issues, she was on the cheer squad senior year. My class had some jackasses, but this girl wasn't treated poorly. This kid in middle school used to talk shit to everyone. He had nice stuff his parents got him, and everyone thought he was tough and could fight until one day he started on a special needs kid. Nobody had ever actually seen the popular kid fight. He was just excellent at intimidation. Now, a lot of the special needs kids in my area weren't just students who were mentally challenged but had overall learning disabilities. Many of those kids came from very tough homes, and the special needs kid who the popular kid messed with was an absolute savage. He grew up in a pretty tough part of town, but was really a gentle giant. He could play football, he was muscular, he could do everything the regular students could do except speak properly. A minor speech impediment. The popular kid challenged him to a one-on-one -on -one fight and got his ass kicked by the special needs kid. I'm talking blood everywhere, his clothes got ripped, one of his sneakers landed like 10 feet away, and to top it all off, he even tried running away after the first few punches. The special kid needs kid grabbed him and pulled him back. It was a massacre. The popular kid not only lost all of his influence, but didn't even have the guts to come back to school for like a week. If I ever saw instant karma, it would have had to have been on this day because he was quiet as a mouse the rest of the years through high school. A lot of the special needs kids in my elementary to high school were pretty regular. They just had anger problems. So everyone knew not to say anything too offhand. My boyfriend in junior high school told one of the special needs kids his breath was stale and he got his head busted open on the side of the building. I was friends with one of the girls in special ed. When she found out her boyfriend was cheating, she knocked the other girl out with one punch and kept going. It was brutal. She was beautiful and smart, just easily provoked. He hooked up with two of his friend's girlfriends. They ditched him after that. Edit. People are asking why the girls went along with it. This was high school and there was a lot of partying and alcohol. No excuses, but for a lot of people it was their first time getting drunk and completely wasted. Edit 2. One guy dumped his girlfriend for cheating, but the other one didn't. I guess it was because she was his first love and childhood sweetheart, so he forgave her. We had a guy like this in our frat. He would always try to sleep with everyone's girlfriends. Everyone just started ignoring him because of it. Some guy got mad when he was drunk texting the guy's girlfriend when everyone was at a party and the guy beat his ass in front of everyone. He dropped after that. Our star football player lost his full ride football scholarship to LSU after beating his girlfriend into a coma. It's been like eight years, but if memory serves correctly, he didn't end up going to prison or juvie because they lacked sufficient evidence. He eventually got expelled from our school because it had a zero tolerance policy for fighting and one of his girlfriend's friends called him out for beating her while in the hallway. He didn't like being confronted and tried to beat the shit out of the guy calling him out. So that's today's post, guys. Wow, quite a few crazy falls from glory in this post. 
Have you guys ever known anybody who went from hero to zero or from king of the hill to being a nobody in no time at all at school or at work? If so, we'd love to hear your stories in the comments. And if you liked the video, leave a like or contribute to that discussion in the comments below. It always helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to see more and hear more posts from r slash askreddit and other subreddits when they come out on the channel, please subscribe. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for listening.